So this is a very common proof by contradiction question. Prove that root two is irrational. In step one, we assume the opposite to our statement is true. Now root two can only either be rational or irrational. So the opposite to our statement would be that root two is rational. Now, if something is rational, it can be expressed as an integer divided by another integer. So root two can be expressed as a, some integer or whole number, divided by b. However, there is one very important condition. a and b cannot have any common factors at all. So for example, they both could not be even because they would both have a factor of two. So that's gonna be very important for the next step. Now in step two, we want to disprove the opposite. So if we can disprove that root two is rational, then it must be irrational. So we start with root two is equal to a over b. We square both sides to get two is equal to a squared over b squared and times both sides by b squared to get two b squared is equal to a squared. Now clearly a squared can be expressed as two times some integer, b squared must be an integer. Therefore, a squared must be even because it can be expressed as two times an integer. So a squared must be even. And therefore, if a square number is even, its root a must also be even. And if something's even, then it can be expressed as two times an integer. So we're just going to say that a can be expressed as two times k, doesn't really matter what letter we use. Now, we know that a can be expressed as two k. So if we substitute that back into our original uh, assumption, we have root two is equal to two k over b. We do a similar thing uh, to before, we square both sides and rearrange. So if you square both sides, you get two is equal to 4k squared over b squared. And if you move the b squared to the left hand side, you get b squared is equal to 2k squared. Now for the exact same reason as this, b squared can be expressed as two times an integer. Therefore, b squared must be even. And again, if a square number is even, then its root must also be even. So for the exact same reason, uh, b must be even as well. Now notice in our original assumption, we said that root two is equal to a over b, two integers. However, a and b can't have any common factors if this statement is to be true. However, in our proof, what have we found? Well, we found that a is even, and we've also found that b is even. Now, if a and b are both even, well, they clearly have a common factor of two. So we basically have a contradiction. We've said that a and b can't have any common factors, but they clearly do. So our contradiction would be that a and b have a common factor of two, therefore we have a contradiction. And because we've contradicted the opposite, it must mean our original statement is true, therefore root two must be irrational. So we've proven that root two is rational.